on Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, here's a live shot from our sister station, KDRV down in Medford. This is at uh, Johns Peak looking southeast down into what you should be able to see is the city of Medford. But as you might expect with the uh, wildfires, the Labrador fire and most of the other fires and Douglas complex and whatnot uh, in southern Oregon, it is a big smoky mess. We've uh, got some uh, folks from our sister station up here today at the uh, KZI 9 News Studios, and they have said that the weather up here is vastly improved from uh, the smoky and very unhealthy conditions that they're seeing down in southern Oregon. So the big question is, is there any relief coming in sight? Well, short answer is yes, but the big answer what we need is a big area of low pressure like this that's not producing thunderstorms, but it's basically bringing in a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Alaska. Cool air, plenty of rain. You know, we mentioned earlier in the show the Biscuit Fire in 2002 that uh, fired up in towards southern Oregon. They got help from some of that rain, and it doesn't look like that will be in our forecast anytime soon. I'll show you what we have in the extended here in just a second. First, current conditions outside right now as we expected with low moving inland moving that thunderstorm threat back off to the south and east of us. We're on the backside of things now, and so we're getting kind of a cool push of not only the ocean air, but lots of heavy, thick marine layer cloud cover, too. And in fact, pretty much encompassed the entire Willamette Valley today. Saw some uh, breaks of the clouds late this afternoon out towards uh, southern Douglas County. But uh, again, the wind's not real strong, and so the smoke, which is very heavy, just kind of sits there. And unfortunately, it's not good for the fire crews, especially trying to get aerial snapshots of where the uh, new fire lines are and uh, any new hot spots. Speaking of which, we'll be on the watch for those as well over the next couple of days. Central Oregon looking at a few more thunderstorms right outside of Bend as you work your way down Highway 20 towards Brothers, and then outside of Burns, a couple of really strong cells. Plenty of lightning strikes with those, as you might expect. This threat will continue to diminish as we go into the overnight hours tonight. Speaking in which we'll likely be looking at mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures again in the low 50s to mid 50s as you get towards Roseburg. And we'll also see a uh, fairly foggy and uh, pretty overcast skies out towards the coast with the temperatures there in the mid 50s for tomorrow. Across the state today, it was cool. Check this out. 60s up and down, almost about 15 degrees cooler than where we should be in the low eight, mid 80s this time of year. Contrast that to the 94 in Ontario. That's where the hot, real unstable air is. And right now we're still sitting right around 64 to 63 degrees. Again, a couple of thunderstorms just outside of uh, eastern Deschutes County. So as this low continues to move inland, we've got the big dip or the trough and the jet stream that'll continue to keep in the cool, cloudy weather, at least for I think portions of tomorrow. Then Friday as we go into the weekend, here's what we've got. High pressure starting to move in behind that. The jet stream will lift back north up above Washington, and that should allow for some of the warmer air to start moving in pretty quickly as we head into the weekend. So we'll stick in the 70s for one more day, and then it's a warmer, sunny weekend as we go forward. Partly sunny at the coast tomorrow, with the temperatures generally in the mid to low 60s. We'll stay in those mid 60s, but we'll see a lot more sunshine along the coast by the weekend and next week. In the Umpqua, a sunny afternoon or mostly sunny afternoon, and then it turns hot and dry again through the weekend and most of next week. Cascades, I think, are done with the thunderstorms tomorrow. I'm going to put a slight mention of a uh, rogue one in the um, Bend Redmond area in the mid 70s. Otherwise, I think we are done there as well. Back to that hot and dry forecast for next week and the valley partly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. We'll see the thick clouds stick around tonight and early tomorrow. And then the uh, temperatures, look at that guys, as we go to Sunday and Monday, start to crank back up into the upper 80s again. All right. Well, Eugene, like